Greetings, today I'm going to be showing you how and what I used to beat Balteas in Armored Core. So this is my setup. I'm running a double pulse gun right here, which you can buy in the parts store for 90,000. Double, by the way, two of them on each hand. And then on the back units, I have two missile launchers that are plasma right here. Very cheap also. And then for the rest, it really doesn't matter, but I'm using the Melander C3 and the Orbiter core. And then for the arms and legs, I'm using the, the these right here. They're very cheap, so you shouldn't worry. You should have enough credits to uh, have this. So the rest, it doesn't really matter, but I'm using some parts that you get from the training. So before you actually try this, uh, before you actually try this mission, I 100% suggest you finish the entire training so you can get all of these free parts that you see right here. So I'm using the generator VP to OS. And the expansion doesn't matter, but I'm using Pulse Armor. You will literally not see me use that. But that's just a shield that protects you for like 5 seconds. And before we go, once again, you should finish all of your training missions because they do reward you and you do learn a lot of things from it. So let's jump into the game. So we're going to start off by boosting forward or just pressing circle or B and then we're going to go around him by holding L2 and R2 with both of our bubble guns okay after we break his shield we're gonna kick him so boost forward and kick him and then use your two shoulder weapons those are the plasma uh, missiles so as long as he doesn't have a shield that means spam plasma spam plasma if he does this attack where he shoots little missiles just boost forward if you hear the beep beep, then when he's doing, gonna do his big stagger missile, get ready to dodge with square, left or right, okay? So, after that, he's gonna bring back his shield, we're gonna kick him again, and then we're gonna missile him. So, before we kick him, we're gonna launch our two shoulder missiles with L1 and R1, and then we're gonna kick him. That way, he gets stunned for longer. Then, we're gonna build up more posture damage. As you can see, the yellow bar at the very top of the screen and on the, on the top of the enemy right there. Once again, if he if he does that, he goes into his second phase. Just fly up to the top left of the screen and then continue holding fly. And then b use both of your bubble guns to break his shield while he is shielded. As you can see, the shield is that blue line at the very top of the screen so if he's ab up above you get some distance and then run towards him then you're gonna break his stance once again we're gonna shoot our missiles with our shoulders and then we're gonna kick him that way we make sure that the missiles land if he does the big missile like that we are going to dodge it and then when he does the middle missiles like that the homing ones we're gonna boost forward and kick him we take less damage when we're boosting okay that's why we're boosting because we take less damage once again shoulders 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 when he does he has no shield as you can see here he built his shield back up but we dealt a ton of damage so we're gonna repeat rinse and repeat we're gonna break his shield with the bubble guns only use the bubble guns to break his shield it's as soon as you break the shield shoulder kick and then continue with bubble guns as you can see there we're gonna dodge his flames by taking some distance there is a pattern there so feel free to watch that so he's almost dead now don't panic we're gonna continue doing the same things that we were doing and that's pretty much it this is not easy it's gonna take you some time but this build should help you so remember the two bubble guns are for breaking the shield and then as soon as you break the shield shoulders shoulder plasma missiles and then kick okay so i'm gonna be showing you another build here so this build revolves around explosions. So this is a very, very easy build to use against bigger enemies that have armor, but works also against Balteus. So I'm using two missile launchers on each hand and the plasma missiles on both of my shoulders. Now, you might not be able to have this early on in the game, but I'm showing you just in case you want to get an S rank or something like that. Just to show you that there are multiple options, you don't have to, uh, you know, use the just one just one uh, build the same strategy is the same we're using our main missiles to deal more damage and then when he's staggered we are using the plasma missiles so he gets staggered a lot faster with uh, the explosives so as you can see here i'm dealing a lot more damage and staggering a lot faster and breaking his yellow bar a lot faster with my two main guns which happen to be four burst fire missiles as you can see there 
Um, but yeah, the shield does take more damage from plasma, st from shield, from energy weapons. But it, um, but explosives also work as well. We're using the same exact strategy. We're breaking his shield, then we're kicking him, and then we're throwing the plasma, and we are going to be doing that until he's dead. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Hopefully this helps you out. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content, click the bell and click all to know when I go live and when I upload. Look forward to more content, guides and more fun stuff. Thank you, have a wonderful day and goodbye.